Hi, welcome to What's Cooking with Rochelle. And today we are making Almond Joy Bars. And I personally love Almond Joy Bars, candy bars that is, but I hate how sweet they are. So if you're like me and you'd like a more grown up version of the Almond Joy Bar, this is exactly what you're looking for. So we are trying to make this a very healthy way I'm going to explain as we go along what you could substitute for to make it quick and easy and dirty. We are going to start off by making our own condensed milk. And so we are doing it with coconut cream and some raw turbino sugar, which is a non-processed sugar. So we are going to put both of these things on the stove and we are going to cook it and stir it until it becomes thick. It is going to take us about 20 minutes to a half an hour on a medium to low heat, stirring it so you don't want it to burn. Okay, you don't want it boiling and you don't want it burning, but you do want it to thicken as it cooks. All right, so we're going to get that started and then we'll come back and deal with everything else. All right, so we got the milk in there, and that was a quarter cup of the sugar. And then we had one can of coconut cream, which is 13 and a half ounces, just so you know. Okay, so what else do we have to do? Well, we have to make our crust for our cookie as well. All right, and like I said, we're making this a healthy way. If you don't want to make your own coconut sweetened condensed milk, you can use the stuff that comes in the can. Okay, so you could absolutely do that, but we're going to make our crust next. So to also continue on the healthy version, um, I have a quarter cup of almond flour and coconut flour. And we're gonna give those a quick stir. So unhealthy way is a half a cup of regular all-purpose flour, okay? To this, we are adding a half a cup of the raw turbino sugar. And we are adding two thirds of a cup of dark cocoa powder. Looking pretty good. And then I have some non-salted organic butter. And that is a half a stick, which is uh, four tablespoons, guys. And you're gonna make this into a paste. You can see how that's combining. Looks good to me. Let's grab our dish. So we are making our Almond Joy bars in a nine by nine. I have some coconut oil. So instead of a spray, we're using a real oil to glaze the bottom. And so I am just going to spread this around and get it up on the sides a little bit. Excellent. All right, the next thing we are gonna do is the crust that we have just made, we are going to press into the bottom. So you could easily double, triple, it depends how many people you're making this for. And then while we're waiting on the coconut condensed milk to cook, um, we are going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees 
Um, once we get the coconut condensed milk, we're gonna obviously mix it with our coconut and coconut extract. We'll pour it on top of this and get it um, in the oven to cook. So we're almost there. So again, we're just pressing it to kind of an even base. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. All right, voila. So we are gonna go ahead and put our shredded coconut in a bowl. This is eight ounces. Uh, so this is one bag of shredded coconut. And to this, I am going to add the teaspoon of almond extract. And then we are pouring this on it. Oh, I already had a spatula. See how that is? And we are going to give this a stir, get it all incorporated. And another thing that you could do if you wanted to make it the less healthy version, use sweetened coconut flakes. We are using unsweetened coconut flakes. And um, if the coconut condensed milk wasn't sweet enough with the quarter cup that we added, you could have added more sugar to that as well. And I bet you guys can guess the next step is for us to press this on top of our crust that we made here. No surprises there. So dump it on that. All right, and then just like before, we are going to press it to make a flat layer. Put some of that in this corner. And your oven should be preheated to 350 degrees. That's looking pretty good, guys. Excellent. All right, so we are gonna pop this in the oven for 50 to 20 minutes. You wanna get it so it's lightly browned on the top of the coconut, and this is gonna bake it and set it to the crust. Okay, so I have taken it out of the oven. You can see it's lightly browned. You don't want it burnt. And we are going to go ahead and make our ganache topping. And so we have a cup and a half of coconut milk. And I have three quarters of a cup, which is a total of 12 tablespoons of butter. We are going to put those on the stove and get those melted and combined. You do not want them to boil because it'll curdle your milk. That's not good. But we do want to get them combined and hot. And I am using the same pan we used before because we are using the same flavor profile. Okay, once those are melted, we are going to pour those over our dark chocolate. As you can see, I have chopped it up so that it's kind of in smaller pieces. It'll just help it to melt easier. And um, remember, this is a dark, dark chocolate. Do not use chips. Chips are made with wax. That's what helps them form the shape they have and the wax will separate and not taste so good. So make sure you use a bar for this. 
Now, again, if you want something less intense, you can absolutely use a dark chocolate that's maybe 60% cacao rather than the 80, 90 that I used. Uh, but that's up to you and your taste buds. We do have a few almonds. That's what makes it from a mounds to an almond joy. And so we are going to cut our bars into 16 small squares, or you can make nine big ones. Um, and um, so whatever size you wanna make, and um, we are gonna put a couple of almonds on each one. And again, you could use shaved almonds if you wanted, sliced almonds, um, or you can use the whole ones and you could put as many or as little as you want. If you wanted to make it truly like an Almond Joy bar, the cookie, uh, or the candy bar, excuse me, you would use one, but we're gonna use a couple just to make it fun. And you can see it's starting to melt. And um, that's probably gonna take about five minutes for us to get those melted, combined, and hot before we pour them over the chocolate. We are gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes and don't touch it. Then we're going to actually whisk it to, um, increase the air in it and make it cool faster. That way when we pour it over it, it will seal and attach to the base. You do want this warm. It doesn't have to be right out of the oven, but you do want this warm for the chocolate to attach to the coconut. Otherwise it'll separate. All right, so you can see our butter is melted into the milk. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off. Remember, we're just heating it so that it melts the chocolate. Now, um, I was cutting this recipe to make it fit. So I told you the milk should have only been three quarters of a cup, not one and a half cups. So I added more butter just to make mine. But we're only gonna use half of what I have here. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. That's probably about right. And like I said, we're gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes to melt the chocolate naturally. And then we'll take it from there as far as whisking it before we pour it on. We're almost done. All right, so we've let it sit for a couple of minutes. Let's give it a stir. And you can see the chocolate is melted without us having to do a lot of heavy lifting, so to speak. And we are going to whip this in just a second. I'm gonna combine it a little bit first. Oops, made a mess. That's what I was trying not to do. All righty, let's get out our whisk. And again, we're doing this to combine it and add a little air, which will help it set up. Once we pour this on top of this, you're gonna wanna um, put it until it sets in the refrigerator, um, which could be at least a half an hour to an hour. And then you're gonna know your chocolate is good when it turns silky. So you can see how the color is changing of the chocolate. You want that really kind of wet look to it. And that's looking pretty good. We've got one lump in there to get worked in. Look at that beautiful decadent chocolate. All right, so first I'm gonna place my almonds and um, we're going to do two in each one, I kind of decided. So we'll start off with one and then add the other ones just to give you a couple of little hidden gem bites of almond. And again, you can add as little or as much as you would like. Take your chocolate ganache and you are just gonna pour this over it. Okay. 
Okay. And just get it all the way to the edges. And that is it. We're going to give it just a quick shake to make it flat. All right, put this in the, uh, in the refrigerator. Let it chill for at least a half an hour to an hour. And then you can cut your bars and eat away. See you soon. All right, we get to the best part of every episode, the tasting part. So this is my version of healthy Almond Joy bars. You've got wonderful almonds and gooey coconut and a wonderful crust. Mm. That is, in my personal opinion, hands down better than the candy bar you get at the store. I hope you like this hack, whether you make it the healthy way or not. Doesn't matter. Have fun in the kitchen, enjoy cooking, and making fun stuff for yourself and your family. If you like this recipe, subscribe below. Bye for now.